All right, so we only have about a minute of class left. Um, tomorrow, like I told you guys, I'm uh, going to set you guys up with um, these puzzles. Uh, you're going to have a substitute. Sorry about that. I, I really do want to be at school, but i uh, got stuff to do. So uh, you guys have all these extra resources, and you guys have the college campus problems. And you guys remember uh, what I was assigned to you guys. Uh, I'll somewhere out here. Um, so I will I will print out the solutions and I'll put the packet on your desk so that you can refer to it. But remember the proper way to use the solutions is try to solve for these, uh, for these first, right? Think really hard about how it would work. So see if you can solve the whole thing, right? And then you can fall back on the solutions to you know, check your work or if you get really stuck, okay? Right. Uh, you guys gonna be all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so remember uh, projectile motion, it's just, it's the same formulas as kinematic motion to say what's going on horizontally, what's going on vertically. Uh, th those are separate from each other. Um, time is a scalar value. So however much time it takes to go across, it takes the same time to fall. But all the other values are vectors. So they say strictly, either strictly horizontal or strictly vertical. Right? Th that's that's one framework to, to go about problem okay. There are some two-dimensional problems on here. But anyway, I think you guys are right. So you guys have fun. I'll see you in a couple of days.